<laughs> okay, this is Judd. I'm outside. Spooky, isn't it? Uh, Crew 6 is returning from the International Space Station, and I'm outside to watch it go over us because it's heading for Jacksonville. Why it's landing near Jacksonville, I have no idea. That seems very strange. Uh, but anyway, it's going to come right over Citrus County. And according to the map, like the hurricanes, it's going to come right over my house. But then again, the hurricanes never do. They always turn away. Thank God. Um, but I don't think the uh, Dragon capsule has the ability to change course like that. So I'm just sitting out here waiting. It's about midnight right now. It's due in five minutes. <laughs> This camera is my FZ200. It's not really good at night, but it has zoom, and if we get the fireball they're talking about, I want to be able to zoom in on it. I've got my phone out here too, and uh, maybe I'll sh shoot with that with the other hand, because that does better at night. Okay, the cloud cover was like it's 20, 30 percent, and it's getting better now. I can see a few more stars. Supposed to be coming from the southwest, so I'm aimed in the right direction. It should come over that tree, which you can't see. <laughs> oh, we're also supposed to hear a, a double sonic boom. We're 40 miles north and south of the track. And as the track is coming right over us, we should hear it. Boom, boom. I think I've heard that before, although I wasn't always aware what was happening. I know a couple of times I've heard that double sonic boom, and I think this is the only thing that does that. I mean, the space shuttle. But why are they landing near Jacksonville? That is strange. Nothing against Jacksonville, but, you know, that's not... NASA. That's like landing in Washington if you want to go to Boston. Oh, the clouds are covering the moon behind me now. Well, it's 12.06, so it's late. It's supposed to land at 12.17. They said it was going to come over us between 12.05 and 12.20. But given that it's supposed to land at 12.17, that seems a little off. Unless it did a time warp. Whoa. You know what else? I'm also starting to get some cloud cover on the horizon there. But it's supposed to make quite a fireball. Isn't this exciting? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember in the old days you'd have Walter Cronkite and Wally Schirrar sitting here yapping on endlessly during these periods. Well, Wally, what are they going through now? Well, Walter, they're in the ionization period where there's a ion field around the capsule so communication is cut short and blah, 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 blah. It's getting about 10 million degrees around the capsule right now, burning everything up. Those were the good old days. That was an exciting time. You know, we're one generation, when we talk about the good old days, we ain't just being nostalgic. It was better. There it is. There it is. There it is. You got an eye on it? Can you see it? It's coming. God, oh, come on. There it is. You can barely see it. There's a big streak all the way from the horizon on it. Whoa, look at that baby go. Right over my head right now. Man, 
That is blazing fast. Wow. Whoop, losing it in the trees. I gotta get up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, baby. Ah, oh, it's behind the trees on me. There it goes. Oh, double fireball. I haven't had the boom boom though. Didn't get no boom boom. There's the moon. And it was over there. Out of sight of me now. Unless I go down here, maybe I can catch a bit of it. No, it's totally out of sight of me now. But I haven't had the double boom. Well, wait a minute, see if we get the double boom. Of course, sound is slower than light. Hmm, nothing. But boy, what a sight that was. I left a contrail all the way to the horizon. Okay, there you go. Boy, what was the delay on that? I'm going to check the timestamps. It must have been way up there because that was one hell of a delay. So there you go, that's the way it is. September, what day is it, 3rd, 4th? 12, 20 a.m. or so here in Citrus County, Florida. Happy day to you.